Hey y'all, about a year ago, I was on Facebook and I saw a friend of mine, she had jars of the past couple years and it on them said the good things of 2013, 2012 and stuff. And I thought that was just an amazing idea. And so I actually went out and bought this, cut up some note cards, started writing down the good things that happened to me um, throughout the year. Now this is really hard. At first I was like, okay, I'm gonna write down something good that happens to me every single day. January, I did pretty well. September and October, I didn't have anything written down. It's kind of like a little time capsule that I've done and I have a lot of them and some of them are really personal and some of them are really just like simple ones. I've gone through them all and picked out uh, my favorite ones uh, or the ones that I wanna highlight and the ones that I wanna share with y'all. So the first one, I spent New Year's Day with my sister and her husband. On the 6th, I uh, actually started my fourth semester at UCF, my last semester actually. Traveled to Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I'm sorry, you guys probably can't read like any of these because this is my horrible quick handwriting and you probably can't read them, but I'm still gonna shove them up in your face like you can. I work for this giant cheerleading company. I travel the US working cheer, uh, cheerleading competitions for them. Through that, I got to travel to Atlantic City. Let's see, 21st. A couple of the other ones that I didn't uh, bring to mention was that I'd gone to the gym with uh, a couple of friends and I had started to work out. Uh, but I actually, on this date, went to the gym by myself. I'm pretty proud of myself, not gonna lie. On the 26th, came and visited West Georgia UWG, and I stunned with the cheerleaders and met the coaches. And on the 31st of January to end of the month, I went to the Florida High School State Cheerleading Competition with my mother. I always try to go and support my alma mater. So that's January. California for the first time and then I also went to uh, Washington for the first time so I went to Chicago for the first time I really was only in the airport this has to do with it so when I was in uh, Washington I slept in and missed my flight and so I was freaking out and I called um, my friend Lauren who was a local it was gracious enough to take me to the airport because I didn't have any ride and it was gonna be like a hundred and fifty dollar cab ride and I literally had like ten dollars in cash and like 80 bucks in my account i was broke <laughs> i was pretty much gonna be stuck in washington until i i don't know hitchhiked my way home i walked in i viewed the uh the the ticket counters and then i saw this really nice older lady so i went up to her and i just started like putting on this whole like sob i was like oh my god I, i'm stuck in washington i'm from florida i'm so far away from home oh, help me and stuff like that i don't really know what that voice was she was like oh just calm down don't worry uh let me fix it and so she just like on their computer and stuff like that because yeah and she uh actually found me a flight and switched it and did everything and did not charge me uh, any fees, which was amazing, and uh, I cannot thank her enough. I woke up today, which, on a more deeper or more serious note, um, it was simple, but, you know, it was a good thing. Every day that you wake up that you're not dead is a good thing. And heading into March, I got to visit Portland, Oregon for the first time. It was really awesome. Again, working at a cheer competition. If you've ever been to Portland or if you've ever heard of it, uh, Voodoo Donuts. Uh, it's this really awesome little donut shop there. Uh, it's really cool. They have a, it's kind of dirty. They, and then they have like ball and penis donut, which was really funny. The donuts were actually really good. And they're just, it was just like a fun, like, I don't know, just a fun, really interesting thing about Portland. Uh, also, Portland's really weird. Like, their slogan is keep Portland weird. So, yeah. Uh, this was the first time that I sang the national anthem at uh, the Pac West competition out there. Um, it was a really cool experience and uh, I'm very grateful for having that experience because it was a lot of fun. And I actually, there's a video of my performance uh, at the Pac West singing the national anthem and I will put a box let's say here right here for you to click on and then I'll have a link 
also down below so you can check out that video and see that. This time I actually went to Chicago and I experienced Chicago and I was in Chicago and not just in the airport. It was really freaking cold but I also had a Chicago deep dish style pizza for the first time. Actually pretty good as far as I can remember. I went to Detroit. If you don't know, Detroit is right across the river from I believe it's Windsor, Canada. So I got to see Canada for the first time. I've never been out of the country, but I've seen Canada, so I'm getting closer. When I was, uh, you know, told I was going to Detroit, I was like, okay, you know what? I might get shot, I might get shanked, I might get stabbed, like I might get mugged, like something like that might happen and I might die. But what actually happened was I got a neurovirus and I got really horrible food poisoning and I ended up in the hospital in Detroit, uh, literally vomiting for at like, everywhere um, <laughs> yeah that was that was cute and then yeah I went to Boston for the first time it was a lot of fun and one of my good friends from uh, from high school I toured with him in high school Colby lives in Boston and so I actually got to hang out and uh, see Boston and Colby showed me around Boston and I hung out with him all day. Stephanie, uh, or Elo Steph as some of you may know her, um, she is a YouTuber, uh, pretty, a lot more popular than I am by, like, 160,000 subscribers or so. Um, she and I met freshman year and, um, we had a class together and we came really we became good friends and Steph offered and I took her up on the offer and we made a video and uploaded a video on her YouTube channel about me getting kicked out of the fraternity and so to finish out the month of April the video and my story actually went viral and so my story was on the front page of uh, the Orlando Sentinel and all these newspapers and news sources and news websites my story was on the front page of the advocate and then also my story ended up uh, ended up reaching Europe, which was really freaking cool to me. On May 3rd, my birthday is May 3rd, I turned 20 years old. I made the West Georgia cheer team. And so when I made the team and I met like my teammates and everything, I was sold. That was when I decided to leave UCF in Orlando and Florida. The first thing I really realized was that I was going to miss working at Bubba Gump's, which if you didn't know, uh, I was a server at uh, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company at uh, Universal Orlando's City Walk. I was a server there for two years. With the whole fraternity thing, it's really interesting because even though I didn't win, I still brought a lot of attention to an issue that had been completely ignored before. I had created a Tumblr as a resource for people who might be going through similar experiences or situations. People will see uh, see the video and uh, find me and write me and tell me how much um, I help them. Though I don't know why, it's a good thing. Um, I lost my case against Beta. I'm really happy where I am right now and I'm really happy um, at this point in my life and so that was a major thing of why it was a good thing because it sent me on this path that's let, you know, I came to West Georgia, I'm cheering here, I met Michael and now I'm getting ready to go compete at the national championship with West Georgia. My last one for June was I realized I needed to put more in the jar, which I didn't do. So on the 3rd of July, I went to our bar with Jason Redman and Rachel Berner. And that night we actually became really, really close. We had a lot of deep talks. On the 4th of July, I watched uh, the fireworks with another girl that I worked with, Kendra. Earlier in the day, I actually went to uh, Diagon Alley. And then I actually got done and went to work. I ran with one of my most favorite people in the entire world, Tanya. She is probably one of the most amazing people I have ever met in my entire life. She's just an amazing woman. I love you, Tanya. I hope you see this video because I love you and I think you're amazing. So, that is July. <laughs> Little shout out to Morgan. She wrote this and put it in my thing when I was not watching. 
I will say that it was kind of last minute. I planned it like two days before, so I don't blame a lot of people for not coming, but I blame a lot of people for not coming. Going away party with Jason and Christina and Jackson and Becky. I have my last day at Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, and my last table of the day um, tipped me a hundred dollars. Then on the 14th, I moved into my um, apartment. On the 20th, I had my first official cheer practice. 25th, I had the first day of classes at UWG. So for September and October, I didn't have anything written down. I thought I had, but apparently I didn't. This one doesn't even have a date on it, but it said I had a wonderful Thanksgiving, which I did. Uh, I went home to Florida for the first time, which this one, somewhere around there, they announced um, Nationals, the, the Nationals team, and who was on the Nationals map. I was honored and humbled and so graciously given the opportunity to represent West Georgia. <laughs> Uh, we finally reached December, yay! I traveled to Valdosta and, um, for one of the playoff games with West Georgia and we won. I also traveled to Colorado and I talk about that in um, some of my vlog videos. And so I ended up meeting Michael and uh, we met and yeah, I went home for Christmas and uh, all that kinds of good stuff. I just didn't write it down. Last thing for 2014 was I spent New Year's with Michael. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea to do this. I'm definitely going to be doing it again this year. Hopefully it will be a little bit easier. Um, I already have a, a few things uh, to put in my good things for 2014. I have to change the label, but I literally spent like maybe 15 bucks um, on this project and it has been so cool. So uh, I do have a question for y'all though. So I'm wondering what I should do with all these. I have a bunch. Do you guys think that I should take them all and put them into a scrapbook or uh, can I just throw them away and let this video be my time capsule for this year? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Then in the description below I'll have a link to some of the videos that I mentioned uh, in this video. Also on my social media you can follow me on Tumblr and Twitter and Instagram. I upload videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new uploads from me. And I think that's it. So, yeah. Bye.